So if you want to join in with me and just um, immerse yourself in reality for a few moments, you're very, very welcome. And it can be a, a very, very simple thing, recognizing what's permanent and real about us. And it is that which does not go because it never arrived. And just simply as you're sitting here with me, we can just become aware of the uh, space around our body, the space in the room that we're sitting in. Anything that comes and goes, our thoughts, our emotions, our bodies, uh, even the room that we're sitting in, everything comes and goes and it's arising inside some uh, formlessness, some empty space that is all around us at all times. And that really is fundamentally what we are. It is unchanging, it is stable, it's not reaching for anything. So let's just take a moment to recognize, just sensing the empty space, the formlessness that's all around our body, the space in which our thoughts appear, spaciousness, and that even the room that you're sitting in is arising in this space, this spaciousness. And that everything that comes and goes arises in that. And just, just noticing this empty, not a thingness that is here is enough. Just bring the attention first to this. Recognizing it's here, it's always here, it's never changing. It's not a thing, it's not coming and going like a thought or an emotion or a sensation in our body. And because it's not coming and going and um, changing, we tend to overlook it. And it may seem unimportant and even irrelevant to us at first. But as we begin to just place attention gently on this emptiness, this not a thingness, out of which all things arise, you can begin to notice it has a soothing effect upon the body. It has, after a while, a soothing effect upon the mind even, because there is an absoluteness about this already. It just is. And it's not trying to improve itself. It's not a work in progress. It just is. Simply bringing attention to this, this empty nothingness, we begin to see that it isn't in fact irrelevant or <clears throat> it isn't in fact unimportant. It's perhaps the most important thing we can ever recognize because even when our body goes even when <clears throat> our thoughts go this space of our being is constant and far from just being empty space it is pure condensed intelligence awareness awakeness pure presence without the presence of any things yet, just presence of this that is. This is your truest form, this formlessness, this shapelessness. And just coming to put a little bit of attention on this. <clears throat> and then just to subtly notice if attention goes back to some thoughts, if attention is drawn to a sound in your environment, it's okay. Or to an emotion coming or going. Or to some sense inside, some restlessness. Some sense that paying attention to this emptiness is boring or it's not getting us anywhere. Something may be jumping up and down inside saying, yes, but. All these distract attention and it's fine, we can just Bring it back to this empty nothingness, this spaciousness of our being. There is a 
completeness and a fullness already present here. Just being curious about what this is. We can develop a curious nature. What really is this? Is it just empty space? Or could it possibly be something so different? Maybe we've been overlooking the most important thing. And it is good to get to know this, this empty nothingness. Because it is essentially what we are. What our body arises out of, what our thoughts arise out of. Again, if attention's just wandered, just bring it back to the space around the body. You can do this with your eyes open or closed. Just spending a few moments recognizing the presence of something that isn't a thing and is always here. It can never be absent. Wherever there is a thing, an object, there is this spaciousness in which it arises and disappears. It has to be here first before anything else. And in fact, first doesn't really mean anything to this spaciousness. It's just kind of always, there's an alwaysness about it. It's here, it's present. It's just being itself already. There is nothing else to do but just come to notice this. And just this simple, simple thing is extraordinarily powerful at allowing this recognition to come that this is always here. And as we continue to bring attention to this, at some point it will become obvious that this is what you are. And then as we continue to bring attention to this, it'll become obvious that this is what everything is. Condensed nothingness looking like something. Made visible from invisible. Made tangible from intangible. Just resting in this with me. This is your essential nature, your no shapeness, where you don't have to be anything or anyone in particular. You're just being here, being this. And there isn't a you and this when we look. If you want to check it out, see if you can find a you and this spaciousness. It seems to be, but not actually so when we look. There is our body, our thoughts, sense perception. You're hearing these words and this spaciousness. So simple, it's just here. What does it want? What does it need? Is it changing? Is it suffering? Is it coming and going? Does it appear and disappear like a thing, like a thought? Is 
Is it affected by anything that appears in it? Just exploring these questions and bringing attention to this that is, is enough. Something profound is happening here. The spaciousness is recognizing itself. Now that it has the contrast of a body and a mind and the sense of time and change and becoming, it can recognize now through contrast, its own completeness, its own formlessness. Notice it doesn't have a problem with anything arising out of it. It's not in conflict with any thoughts. It's not trying to get rid of anything, is it? It's just here and it looks upon everything that arises in it equally. Just watching, just allowing pure intelligence before it's taken any shape, watching all these shapes appear, thoughts, emotions, experiences, other beings, simply just noticing this emptiness recognizing how it behaves with our thoughts, recognizing how it is with our emotions. It's not pushing against and it's not grabbing a hold. Everything is coming and going equally welcomed, not labeled. Just by noticing this, we begin to automatically behave like this too. It feels so nice to just not manipulate and control and try to change each moment, not trying to get a different outcome. There's no need here to get ahead of the next moment or rewrite the previous moment. We're just here as this, in this. One spacious nothingness. Where is this spaciousness? And where isn't it? How far does it reach in all directions from your body? Is it stopped when it reaches a wall? Is it, does it find an edge or a boundary? Is it affected by those things?
And it's okay if we can't answer all of these questions. It's enough to notice this and just hear these questions. That's naturally eliciting answers coming. We're just relaxing. It's not important that we get these answers right now. Just relaxing as this, in this. Notice that your body and mind are still functioning perfectly while you notice this all by themselves. Thoughts are still moving. Your lungs are still breathing. You can still hear and understand these words. Just a simple, simple recognition of this that is. Just noticing if attention has wandered to thoughts, bringing it back to some noise or sound. We don't have to get rid of those. We just notice if attention moves when we can. This isn't hard work. We don't have to force the attention to stay in one place. We're just gently guiding it back when we notice, if we notice, that it's wandered back to an object, back to the coming and goingness of movement and change and time. Just developing a new habit to pay more attention to the space in which all things appear than the things themselves. It's simply a habit to pay attention to thoughts first to things first and any habit can be changed by cultivating a new one like this. this emptiness, this nothingness is already quiet. It's already peaceful. It is your home, it is yourself. So I would um, urge you to, to do this every day if you can, to fall in love with this. 
and it'll just become clearer and clearer that this is what you are. That the sense of being someone is just that, a sense only. There's nothing to be destroyed or removed or taken away. There's just this. <laughs> 